find the equation of right circular cone whose vertex is 1 minus 1 2 axis is the line x minus 1 upon 2 equal to y plus 1 upon 1 equal to z minus 2 upon minus 2 and semi vertical angle 45 degree so let a 1 minus 1 2 be the vertex of the cone a b be the axis of the cone whose which is given by the line x minus 1 upon 2 equal to y plus 1 upon 1 equal to z minus 2 upon minus 2 so axis is given by this line therefore the direction ratio of the axis that is a b are going to be 2 1 minus 2 now suppose there exists a point which is on the cone which lies on the cone say p x y z so p x y z be the co uh, point on the cone therefore direction of ratios of the line a p will be x minus 1 y plus 1 z minus 2 and what is given given is a semi vertical angle alpha that is 45 degree so by the relation we know cos alpha is equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 upon root a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square so by this relation we have a1 a2 a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 and c2 correct so by this relation cos alpha becomes 2 times x minus 1 plus 1 into y plus 1 minus 2 into z minus 2 upon root 2 square plus 1 square plus minus 2 square into root x minus 1 square plus y plus 1 square plus z minus 2 square so evaluating this bracket substituting the value of alpha cos alpha that is cos 45 will be 1 by root 2 equal to now here in the numerator take the variables common one side and the constant on one side so this becomes 2x plus y minus 2z this is minus 2 plus 1 plus 4 that is plus 3 upon root 9 that is 3 into root x minus 1 square plus y plus 1 square plus z minus 2 square now to eliminate this square root square root terms we square on both sides of the equation so squaring on both sides we obtain this on the left hand side as 1 upon 2 equal to 2x plus y minus 2z plus 3 upon 9 times x minus 1 square plus y plus 1 square plus z minus 2 square now cross multiplying we get this equation so we now need to evaluate this brackets individually left hand side it is easier but on the right hand side if you observe we have four terms and this is nothing but a plus b plus c plus d term so using the formula of a plus b plus c plus d whole square directly we can get the terms so a plus b plus c plus d whole square formula will be a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus twice a b plus twice a c plus twice ad plus twice bc plus twice bd into plus twice cd so by this what will be next step next step will be 9 x minus 1 square that is x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y plus 1 square that is y square plus 2y plus 1 plus z minus 2 square that is z square minus 4z plus 4 on the right hand side this is 2 into bracket now a is for 2x b is y c is minus 2z we have to consider with respect to the sign and d is 3 so according to this formula this becomes 4y 4x sorry 4x square plus y square plus 4z square plus 9 plus 4x minus 8xz plus 12xy that is 12 uh, sorry 12x that is a into d then twice b into c so twice b that is 2 into 1 2 into minus 2 that is minus 4 y into z plus next term says twice b into d so b into d that is 6 y plus next term says twice c into d so 2 2 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 but the sign minus 12 z so these are all the terms so now evaluating all these terms we get the equation as or x square plus 7y square minus z square minus 8xy plus 16xz minus 42x plus 6y minus 12z plus 36 equal to 0. So evaluating all the terms of x square, y square, z square taking in common we get this equation 
that is the required equation of right circular 